YouTube, Jeremy here, the one wild crafter. What would you say to a little bit of fishing? In the beautiful area near Goganda, Ontario. <laughs> With the wooded beardsman. The who the who? And a cloud of black flies. <laughs> I feel like Pigpen. Yeah. yeah, you look like Pigpen there. You had a real cloud around you. We are about 200 kilometers north and west of North Bay. Um, this is a place we've been before in the hunting season and we saw a lot of great lakes that we wanted to try for fishing. Uh, you have seen the Wooded Beardsman and Zach Fowler here in season something four of the Wilderness Living Challenge. The one where they ate a pile of bear meat and paddled around a lot anyway that season. Um, and we're getting set up. There has been some thunder rolling. I see rain falling off in the distance. Uh, we've already driven a few of the back roads looking for access points. Uh, this area has a pile of um, brook trout lakes, natural lakes, stock lakes. Uh, we're camped right now on a lake that is stocked with rainbow trout. And I see fish surfacing after some uh, dragonflies that are flying around. I don't know, I think I see a a pumpkin seed in here on a nest too. I'll maybe get try and get a shot of that. Uh, but we're just getting set up to camp and tomorrow's gonna be a big fishing day. We're just making the most of our time before dark by uh, drifting, long lining for rainbow trout here. Uh, so there's really just a uh, hook, split shot, and a worm. And we're just traveling at the speed of breeze. It's not as buggy out here. Mind you, I've, I've probably killed a hundred black flies, so there can't be that many left around me. Probably have like blood in here and had a bite by my eye. Fish. Yeah. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> that is a beautiful rainbow. Holy smokes. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah. Look at, look at that fish. Look, that's a slab. That's a freaking slab of a rainbow, dude. That's awesome. Look. Wow. <laughs> dude, we don't need to catch any more fish. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> look at that beast. <laughs> that was just, just hooking a worm. Yeah, just drifting with the breeze. <laughs> Jerry's like, how do wow. we catch these fish? I'm like, <laughs> yep. dude, if you got your worm in the water and you're dragging it around, you're fishing. Yeah. And that's proof right there. That size. We just put out a couple of um, lines and uh, came into shore. <laughs> Look at that cute little pink turtle baby. Nice. <laughs> So we'll leave the uh, lines up and then we're going to go start cooking. Did you want them? Uh, maybe just to hold them for a second. Look at him. Whoa. Oh, he to go there he goes. Him. Back you go, buddy. Watch out for the rainbow trout. Well, while those lines work for us, we're going to get a fire going. We need a bed of coals and I think we're going to lay down some um, alder and willow and we're going to smoke that fish. Can you see all the black flies here? Like, there's tons. They're all in behind my ear and everything. Get a smoky fire going. Smoke the fish and smoke these bugs out.
I don't know what this guy's doing up by the fire pit, but he better vacate. Bought one of these um, plasma plasma torch lighters, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, see how it works for starting fires. Seems to work all right. Bit of dry birch bark, dry conifer branches, split conifer wood. Had to cover up my pretty face. The bugs were just uh, too much. And they're biting me all around my wrists too, so I think I'm gonna have to take off these bracelets. Um, but I wanna shout out to VKNG, Viking Jewelry, company out of France, um, that sent me these bracelets to try out and talk about them a little bit. Uh, so this one here, I'm gonna take that off. It's like a double bit axe. I sent them my wrist measurement and it came back a perfect fit. Um, and this is a very, very cool looking bracelet. Nice uh, solid bronzy kind of uh, axe head on there with some Viking ruins. Very simple to wrap it and do the closure on it. That's a pretty cool looking piece, eh? Uh, they have a bunch of other stuff on their website too, you should check them out. I'll link them below. They've got uh, more bronze stuff, gold and silver, they got bracelets, they got all kinds of rings and armbands I think, and necklaces. Hold right there for a second. After I edited this video together, uh, I was speaking with VKNG or Viking Jewelry, and they offered two discount codes uh, on a time-based uh, sale for viewers of this video. So here's the first one and the second one. I'm going to link them both below. The first one is 50% off in the first 48 hours on the Axe Bracelets collection. So you can click the link below to view that collection and get 50% off. The other code is 120 for 20% off everything in the whole store for the first 15 days that this video is out. So have a look below, check out those links and enjoy. So you might be interested to look at that. And then this other one here, I really like this one too. It's got these nice polished stones and a couple of brass type beads, but then um, it's got these uh, like lava stone. They're very cool looking. So a couple of items that I wanted to showcase. They're super solid. I've been wearing these for weeks. I haven't had any trouble with them uh, except when it's buggy out, they're a little bit much. So they gotta come off right now. Um, but you've probably seen me wearing them in earlier videos and I'll probably be wearing them in upcoming videos as well. Get some more wood on there, get a bed of coals going. Chris is cleaning that fish. It's gonna be supper time soon. Not just the bugs are gonna be feasting. Here's some alder that I cut. Uh, I really like it for smoking fish. It's pretty easy to identify. It often has the old uh, male pollen cones on it. And it's got an alternate arrangement. Kind of a, I guess you'd say a double tooth margin. That's always growing, almost always growing along uh, water edges and comes up along the edges of farm fields a lot of the time where there's uh, ditches or wet ground. So we'll smoke that fish with this guy, these guys. Just keep, just keep adding them to the fire and keep some smoke going. It'll work better when the fire is burned down better to coals. And I think we'll rake them a little bit closer under the fish and then uh, get some more smoke going. It's nice, the wind died down. The bugs are still bad, but the evening birds are calling. Hermit thrush, Swainson thrush. There was a white-throated sparrow a second ago. A loon on the lake. A 
think this fish is probably cooking up pretty nicely, eh? But it'll take a while to cook that meat on the backbone. And the grouse, I don't think I talked about that, but Chris spotted a little road-killed one. Spruce grouse. So that's cooking up. So we got this fish flipped over carefully. I'll do another 20 minutes there. You can hear some juices dripping on the coals, so that sounds pretty good. Most of these most of these edge pieces are really cooked. But that thick backbone there it was still cool on the top side, so flipping it over was the thing to do. Well we'll just do a quick uh, wrap on a catch and cook rainbow trout. First day up in uh, near Gogand, Ontario. And this is really good rainbow trout. You're <laughs> really good. Yeah. The belly part's the best part. Where all the fat is down by the bone. Yep. Mm hmm Yeah, best part right along the back. Mm-hmm. And the wadobo spice. I normally wouldn't eat the the skin, but But you're going to? I think so. Mm -hmm. On this one. Like on a big fish like that, <clears throat> it's usually fishy, but when it's smoked it's good fishy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we smoked it with the alder. I threw in some willow branches too. And uh, that's good. Really so good. We'll be back <coughs> with another video. Tomorrow we're doing uh, brook trout. Catch and cook again, hopefully. Hopefully. If things work out. Yeah. Otherwise there'll be some catching or some not catching, but there'll still be some cooking. We got some backups. And uh, really hoping that the flies aren't as bad. <laughs> I they know. just died off. Yeah, I know. Right? So. We'll see. See you on the next one.